Lee, tomorrow you could win your 50th official international cap for Gibraltar. How proud would this make you feel? Obviously, it's proud uh, every time you represent Gibraltar and being my 50th. Being in UEFA and FIFA is an achievement, uh, especially at my age. You would be only the third person to win 50 caps since we joined UEFA, along with Roy and Liam. How many more do you think you can make? Is there a target in mind? Not really. At the end of the day, it's how fit you are and how healthy you feel. And you, at the end of the day, it's how you produce on, on the actual pitch and, and hopefully the manager keeps on picking me. How's the body feeling at 40 years of age? Do you have to prepare any differently for two back-to-back -back international games nowadays? Well, yes, you've got to prepare yourself. Um, gym work, a lot of gym work and then prepare yourself for international games, which is a very high demanding level compared to Gibraltar at the moment in the league. But uh, the training we do two weeks pre-games pre here, it, it, it's really important for, for myself. Like I said, um, at, at the age of 40, going 41 in a week's time, it is uh, really important and a lot of rest, which is really important for recovery for the games. Now looking ahead to tomorrow, Bulgaria have a new coach and a relatively young team. Are you confident given this and the 1-1 draw against them at the Victoria Stadium back in June? Well, it's like I said, every game is different. Uh, we've got to look at uh, where we can improve, especially the result we got in Gibraltar, the 1-1. is really important for us, but uh, it's, it's up to the boys to put a shift in here and uh, we'll see what we can make. What do you expect conditions to be like tomorrow and how will this play into the match? Well, I think uh, the pitch is not uh, the greatest at the moment and obviously we just be really on top of, of our game and uh, know exactly what uh, the managers uh, expected from us and um, hopefully we can get something here. And lastly, how would you assess the Nations League C campaign so far? Well, we've had uh, very good games, especially in Gibraltar. Obviously it's a different ball game when we go outside but um, we'll see. This is another step we're taking in the right direction and hopefully we can get something tomorrow.